and thousands were in Mitchell Park to spread that same message. KSBY reporter Molly Casey was at the rally today. She joins us live in San Luis Obispo. Molly. Kelsey, there was a sense of seriousness and energy in Mitchell Park today. Students from Slow County High Schools led a one hour long rally before leading the marchers through the city and they want their voices heard. We are endlessly proud to stand in solidarity with the kids from Parkland. Demonstrators from around the Central Coast gathered in Mitchell Park Saturday afternoon, taking part in the March for Our Lives, a movement aimed at ending gun violence. We are going to make sure that the next generation of voters does not have to know what a school shooter drill is. Students from Slow County High Schools took the stage with a strong message for government leaders. Our generation is not going to be one of passive bystanders. We refuse to sit around until older generations pass us the baton because as made evident by our current inaction, they're taking way too long. Signs urging Congress to pass stronger gun laws and hope for the future of safety in schools colored the crowd held by those asking for change. And it can easily be changed if the government would just send some legislation through that would create safety for these kids. I'm here because I care about my life and I want representatives to know that I care about my life. I should be worrying about tests and college and things like that and not an unknown shooter with a gun. Hoping the one mile march carries their message beyond the park. The right to own a gun does not outweigh a student's right to live. Now there were tables there were tables set out uh, set up out here after that march and after the rally to hopefully make others that were at the event register to vote and hope to get some of the younger generations involved after today. Live in San Luis Obispo, Molly Casey, KSBY News. All right, thank you, Molly.